All right, so here are the tiers. The top one is marriage in all capital letters, and this one is reserved for the characters that I have a straight up crush on, and if they were real people, I would say yes with no <laughs> hesitation whatsoever. The second one is just labeled yes, and that's for the people where my feelings for them aren't as strong as the marriage tier, but I still definitely find them attractive. Uh, after that is the one night stand tier, and that is for characters I would not want to be romantically involved with, but I still find attractive. Below that is after a few drinks, and that's for the people who are kind of at that in-between part where it's like they're it's not gross in any way just not my first or second or third choice after that is eh, not quite as strong as the tier below it but i would probably say no <laughs> i mean if like it was one of those fuck or die <laughs> situations. I wouldn't be complaining all that much, but I still wouldn't actively choose them. Below that is no, absolutely not. And I think that one's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, below that is I love them, but not like that. And that's for the people where I do have strong feelings about them, but it's not attraction in any kind of way. Uh, once I start putting characters into there, you'll understand what that one means. And the bottom one, not one, spoilers, that I'm going to be using is who? Uh, and that's more so for people who haven't played um all of the games or they don't quite recognize some of the characters because not everyone on here is a companion so not for myself but for anyone who would like to use this tier list so let's start and uh it is mostly in alphabetical order However, for I didn't change the file name for Justice, and he's the first one up. And he's going in, no, absolutely not, and that's simply because necrophilia. <laughs> After that is my boy, uh, Alistair, <laughs> and he's going all the way up into marriage. I know I just put him in yes, but he's going into the marriage category. I love him so much. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to get a little bit of an idea of just how much, you can go watch the uh, top 10 companions to your list. And, I'm, and I do plan on doing a full-on video, so I'm not going to gush over him right now with so many others to get to. After that is... Actually, I'm not going to use my mouse because you can hear me smacking it into the desk. Uh, after that is Anders, and he is the reason why I wanted to make a video out of this instead of just a post, because he's going in the <laughs> category, and here's why. Up, oh, not including Act Three, but for the most part throughout the second game, not including his romance, he gives off the same vibes that a lot of my teachers gave off and that's not attractive to me <laughs> and just thinking about it makes me feel weird so that that's why he he goes in there not because i dislike him which i don't but because the associations in my brain after that is aveline and she goes in the no absolutely not category because I do not like her. She is probably the only uh, companion 
that I can genuinely say that I hate. And I do plan on going into detail about that at some point. After that is Bethany. And she is going to go into the yes category. There you go. Because she's very, very sweet. And very pretty. <laughs> After that is uh, Blackwall. And he's also going in the eh, category just because he's a, a little older than I'm comfortable being with. And he also reminds me too much of my dad. <laughs> That's not something I'm into. Uh, after that would be Carver. And he's going in the one night stand category. Um, I love him. But I'm not necessarily attracted to him. But it's not enough to put him in the I love them but not like that category. After that is Cassandra. Who's also going in the one night stand um, category. Because I don't think that would be the healthiest relationship in the world. Just because of the kind of people we are. And now this is where things start to make sense. Uh, Cole is going in the I love them, but not like that category. Because thinking about him in that way makes me feel weird and in not a, a good way. <laughs> but I absolutely adore him. Cullen is going up into the yes category with... Actually... No, he's not. He's going down into the one night stand category because... I just thought about it and like that wouldn't be a great relationship either. <laughs> and after that is Dorian and he's going in the I love them but not like that category because I don't feel comfortable putting him anywhere else because he is gay and I am a woman and think yeah, I'm not mm, that just yeah. Some people uh, who are women have a very strange obsession with him, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't take shots every time I say the word uncomfortable, because it's probably going to happen a lot. I should have put that in the beginning, but here it is now. Don't do it unless it's water. After that, Fenris again goes in the one night stand category which is probably where most people are going <laughs> um just, and that's just because he's too broody um i don't really tend to get along very well with people who are like that so after that would be bowl and i know some people are going to judge me for this one, but he he's going in the no, absolutely not category. Uh, I do intend to make a deeper video about him, but he just kind of makes me very uncomfortable. There's that word again. And while I don't have the same hatred for him that I do have for Aveline, I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> Of him, he says a lot of stuff that I just don't like at all. Uh, moving on from that would be Isabella, who's going in the yes category. There she goes. Can't quite see her. Now you can. Um, yeah, I feel like it would be very easy to be with her. Like, it'd be kind of comforting in a way, this is way too much information about myself. After that would be Josephine, and she's the only other person who's going to be up in the marriage <laughs> category with Alistair. I love her so much. She is so sweet, and that woman needs a break so bad. <laughs> please, please give this woman a break. Um, 
after that would be Krem, and he is going in the one night stand category just because he doesn't get enough screen time, so I don't have strong enough feelings about him. Uh, after that would be Harding. Same reasons for the one night stand category, though she is closer to being in the yes part than Krem is, obviously. Uh, after that, I have Liliana in Origins, and I should, hindsight speaking here, I should have also included her in Inquisition, because, I mean, they really are two different people. Sometimes it might literally be two different people, depending on your world state. Um, but as she is in Origins, and as a love interest, she is going in the yes category. After that is Meryl, and she, hmm, she's all, she's going in the one, one, eh, I almost said wine, one night stand category, and that's just because she's not, you know what, I'm not expanding on that, that's too much information. <laughs> Uh, Morgan goes in the after a few drinks because she's mean. <laughs> Which I know some people are into, but I'm not. Uh, Nathaniel also goes in there. It's not quite on the same level as Blackwall, but close. Except unlike Blackwall, he doesn't remind me of my dad. Vivienne also goes in the after a few drinks category, but that's mostly because I just don't have strong feelings about her whatsoever. It's not anything negative, it's just more so a lack of positive. Ogren goes in the no, absolutely not category, and if you've played Origins, you know exactly why. He is absolutely disgusting. Ah, uh, <laughs> Sebastian, <laughs> my most unpopular opinion. He's going in the yes, nope, no, not there, the yes category, because I personally think he is very sweet, and I also said that unlike some people, I do find him to be quite funny, and it the, the accent does help, and as does the looks. Again, like Alistair, if you'd like a deeper explanation go watch the only other video currently available on the channel. Sarah. Mm, she's going in the, yeah, one night stand category. And that would probably, probably be a very fun time. Um, she just doesn't take things seriously enough to go in the yes category. After that is Shale, and Shale is going in the I love them, but not like that category, and it, just look at the picture and it's kind of obvious why. After that is Sigrun, I hope I pronounced her name right, um, and I think she is greatly unappreciated. Not... I haven't played Awakening recently enough to put her higher up, but that's where she's going for now. Um, after that is Solus, and he's going in the eh category, because it's not... I don't like him. I respect him as being a well-written character, but I don't particularly like him, per se, but it's not enough to put him lower. After that is... Sten, and I no, I just, I can't put him any higher. I don't necessarily dislike him, I just can't, I can't. <laughs> My brain malfunctions if I try to think about putting him any higher. And Varric goes in the, I love them, but not like that. And that's because I just, I don't dislike him enough to put him in one of the lower well, technically it is above this one, but one of the lower categories. After that is Valana, and she goes in the after a few drinks category. 
Um, then Win, who's going in the I love them, but not like that. And that's I don't I don't have a thing for gilfs. Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing as hard as I am at that. And finally, there is Zevron, and he's going in the yes category. And really, it's for the same reasons as Isabella. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Hopefully, my brain and my mouth will cooperate for the Fenris video. If not, I will figure something else out. I've also thought about doing um, different game playthroughs. At As of right now, I think my laptop, because that's what I have, I think it will only be able to handle me doing Minecraft. But if that's something... Anyone who watches this is interested in, uh, let me know down below. Uh, but other than that, I hope everyone has a lovely day or night, wherever you are, and goodbye!